how do you know that you're coming at the to the end of it? You just you start to feel better. <laughs> you, you just you, feel better. You you start to look at life differently. You you start to you re-energize simply by waking up in the morning. You um you like people more. You like yourself more. You're not you feel lighter. You smile more. You you're you're not you don't you're not angry. You're not as you know you don't get you don't get as pissed off when somebody cuts you off on the road anymore. You know you don't feel like giving them the finger. You go oh, jerk. It's gone. You don't carry that because you've let go of so much of that. I would recommend seeing a therapist. I would recommend going on medication for a period of time if you have to. Because what happens is, if you're doing this, if you're a guy and doing this for years and years and years and years, your body chemistry changes. I tell people this all the time. It doesn't mean you're going to have to stay on forever, but right. your body chemistry is now different. It's almost like insulin if you were yeah. diabetic. You need to get your levels. Exactly. Let's recorrect these levels. Let's get you back to a baseline, and then you can come off the stuff because your body will now learn. I guarantee that I produced, for, for most of my life, I produced, produced way too much adrenaline and not enough serotonin and dopamine. Now I produce a lot less adrenaline, and I got plenty of energy, and I've got plenty of, I haven't lost any of my zip, but there's no, there's no hostility behind it. Now it's just energy for life. Because a guy, a guy who would take a steroid would not take an antidepressant. No, right. Which is... Right, crazy. Crazy. Yeah, which is, you know, exactly. You know, take the steroid to build your muscles up. But don't take the antidepressant to make you feel better. You know, right. uh, they're, an antidepressant really is really intended to rebalance your body. It's an antidepressant is not going to give you anything you shouldn't already have. Right. You're not high. No, no. It's going to give you something that got taken away from you when you were younger, or you took it away from yourself by by constantly being down or being angry, or being sad. If you're, you cannot do this while you're still depressed. Exactly. Therapy doesn't work no. if when you're, you're depressed, irrational. The, it's, like, it's like they tell you when you get an injury. What's the first thing? They tell you, get the pain under control. We can't figure out what's wrong. If you're in so much pain, I can't touch you. If you're in so, if you're in so much pain, you can't tell me what, what's wrong, you're useless to me. I can't help you. Get the pain under control. Then I can tell you what's wrong with your ankle. Same thing with how you feel. Get the depression under control. Get back to a baseline where you're not so depressed. Where you can, because when you're depressed, you can't tell how you feel. You're just sad. Okay, what are you sad about? I don't know. I can't get to it. And you can't. So you have to get out of depression. 